comes the Queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Queen City, the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. Many believe Corey Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. One day, she'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. Look who it is! It's Bailey! That's my line! And from San Jose, California, Bailey! We can do it together, Michael. It's a wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing, Bailey Buddies! Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. It's just an infectious feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes. Everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. We're just moments away from what will likely be one of the most exciting six-man tag team matches we've seen in a very long time. Well, given the two teams we have assembled here tonight, I would say I have no choice but to agree with you, Cole. It's boss time! And here comes Sasha! And their opponent, first, from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Byron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has her own swag, she's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. You ever talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. This isn't total Bellas. This is the real deal. I'm still happy to see the Bellas, two of the most successful tandems in WWE history. They're actually only one tandem, Saxton. It takes more than one person to make a tandem. You know what I meant. Yeah, two sisters who have had almost parallel success here in WWE, both former women's champions. Eva's champion, 
And what's cool to me, guys, is that despite the long road and the long career here in WWE, the Bellies will tell you their bond is stronger than ever. They have their own reality show, Byron's favorite, Total Bellas. How come you guys never come over when I want to... Charlotte has always had a foil in the form of Sasha Banks. Their careers have intertwined for quite a while, haven't they? Michael, the few blemishes on Charlotte's pristine record have come via the boss. Banks handed Charlotte her final loss in NXT and also ended the Queen's first three Raw Championship reigns. Guys, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. When you have that many egos on the same team, sometimes things don't go quite as planned. Byron, you mentioned Charlotte and Sasha's rivalry, but they actually began as allies in NXT. Remember their group, the beautiful, fierce females? The two friends that talented are bound to become competitive. The Superstar Shakeup pulled their rivalry for a while, but you know there are plenty more main events in their future. Tag. What are we going to see here? Oh, right to the face. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh my gosh. Surfboard leg breaker. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. the impact. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American... Look out! There's the tag! And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Charlotte may have it harder than any other second-generation star. Upholding a family's legacy is tough. But when your dad is Ric Flair, that's even more hype. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. Charlotte's pressure as the daughter of Ric Flair is immense, but she shouldered it and forged ahead with a career that might eventually eclipse the Nature Boys. And we've seen talented superstars falter under their parents' legacy, but Charlotte's proving herself the equal of the most decorated world champion ever. It's no wonder she's the queen. The face first comes. She's looking at it. I don't think this is going to do it. I was lucky enough to call many of Charlotte Flair's biggest matches as she kickstarted the women's revolution with the likes of Bailey, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and so many more. Here comes Brie. Oh, those kicks look familiar. Yeah, don't they? The yes kicks from Brie Bella. They'll leave a mark permanently. Nice. Shut it down. Charlotte is in trouble. Bella Buster! Charlotte is in trouble. Whoa, let's look at that again. What a move. Here's a cover. Corey, Charlotte's NXT run helped more than just women. It also helped the brand grow as those women's matches brought many new viewers to WWE Network. NXT is appointment viewing for folks every week. And the women there are tomorrow's main eventers. Charlotte's groundwork is a big reason for that. Ooh, what impact. by Becky Lynch. The Flair legacy grew at Charlotte's first WrestleMania where the Raw Women's Championship was revealed. Charlotte styled, profiled, and walked out of WrestleMania with the gold. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Oh, God, next. The shoulders. Oh, uh -oh. no. Good night. What a stunner. Look at her go! Corey 
you mentioned Charlotte's first WrestleMania, winning at WrestleMania, she might have... That's just Charlotte proving her dominance once again. Looking for all the glory here. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. Just powered out. Effectively using the knee. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was... He's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. And what a reversal from Brie Bella. No! She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Avoids trouble there. Wow, talking about knowing where you're at at all times. Sasha Banks is scaling the ropes. Dodges that one. Looking for the quick cover is Sasha Banks. Good strategy. And she kicks out with relative ease. Nice kick out. Oh, man, she's rolling now. I'm not sure Charlotte should be showing up her competition like this. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That creates a big opening here. Oh, here it comes. That one definitely hurt Cole. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. German suplex! This isn't gonna be pretty. What a strike! athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. We're looking at complete domination here. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. And now Sasha Banks heads up. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to... Here comes Sasha Banks. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Oh, man. Bailey's going to need a hug after that. Shoulders down. Is it enough? 
The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Well, it's not really my thing, but the crowd is loving Sasha's act. Oh, man, what a hit. Rocked right off the apron. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. You know, I've known Bailey for a long time, and it pains me to say how susceptible she is to being betrayed. For some reason, her trust and kindness become a weakness that many superstars have exploited. She is on fire. The Hunter will one. Oh, oh, nice suplex. Bailey can end it here. Observing how Bailey is constantly being betrayed as Byron did has given her a reputation as a pushover among the women in WWE. I think her desire to be everyone's friend holds Bailey back from making history of her own. Oh, here it comes! Bailey, Bailey to Bailey! Bad news for the boss. Oh man, Sasha Banks is in trouble now. by Bree Bella. The ref's out. No good in some of this, Michael. It's become Bailey's M.O. to fight from underneath. Since her days as NXT, she's had to overcome setback after setback. Well, certainly known as an ultimate underdog, Bailey faltered many times early in her career. But her devotion and diehard attitude inspired a passionate following within the WWE Universe that in turn lifted Bailey to great heights. We harped on Bailey's underdog pass. It still sticks with her, but she does find ways to put herself in a position for success, despite her humble nature. Well, underdogs are good for fairy tales, Cole, but this, this is real life, where the women's division is about asserting dominance. Underdogs don't dominate. They just get lucky once in a while. And I don't see Bailey carrying around the four-leaf clover. Drop kick! Takes her down. Wow, nice move right there. Electric chair in the face buster. Becky Lynch has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much she has left in the tank. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. She goes for the cover. That is a beautiful thing to watch. And she kicks out. This is amazing. What a hurricane. You gotta believe this one's over. Knocked right off the apron. This is impressive. What a forearm smash. This one's over, guys. Nikki Bella may have just ended this, fellas. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Here it comes. The rack attack. Backbreaker. Is it enough to put Becky away? This one might be over, guys. Yeah, and this is why. Take a look. She goes for the cover. What is keeping this competitor going? Wow. Oh, stole the shoulders on the back. Oh, somehow. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. When she gets in attack mode, look at that exploder suplex. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Lynch. Got the disarmor. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Three Bella, three mode engage. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. She goes for the quick pin. Oh, now it's the boss with a little. What a six-man tag match. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. She was amazing all match long. Flawless technique, here relentless attacks, and she brought it all Sasha night Banks, long. Brie Bella, and Nikki Bella. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection.
Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.